That's her name. But welcome back, guys. Now, as you know, we were playing with colors last time. And there we go. All red. And a mysterious door opens to lead us to whatever is inside. More of this. Oh my god, you're gonna be kidding me. So, you know what? I'm gonna just make sure I'm fully reloaded. And I could have stopped up on ammo back there, but I didn't. Not my smartest thing, but eh. Can't argue. Might as well just use a sword here. Look at how strong that is. Well, I can't hold this. But, you know what? I might as well, since my health is a bit low, and I could have slept back there, which. I should have done. How much aim do we even hold for this, though? Apparently, I can't check. That's weird. Alright, so I go over here. Oh, wow, I'm doing pretty good on health. That's good to know. So then I'll pick up this first aid. Yes, that's not a clue, though, but it's first aid. Probably for the rest of this part, I would suggest using the Magnum. Mainly just because we're getting close to the end, and you see how much, especially with this part. This part is extremely. This is where the game gets a little too difficult, in my opinion. You're about to find out why in a little bit, but it, I mean, you've seen how much hits is actually taken to kill these things now. Uh, at this point, the uh, assault rifle and magnum are a must. But of course, we can go down there, we can go down there. Uh, you probably just want to climb up here. Climb down, grab some Agent Honor. If you want to, you can be a dick, like I'm going to be. Yes, this is probably not the bet nicest thing to do, but you know what? These guys take way too many hits, in just in general. So, I don't feel bad about doing this at all. But, can I lock onto him? Yes, I can. So, I'm just going to quickly take out that guy really fast. Hopefully. Will you go away and die already? How does he have infinite ammo of only this gun? Of course, it has to be the shittiest gun possible. Yes, it's amazing that I can't believe he's not dead yet. So, back to shooting this guy again. So, yeah, like I was saying with cartoons, it feels like. I can't believe I'm still talking about that. But yeah, that's my opinion on cartoons. I feel like the plot is extremely stupid, especially if you see what shows are nowadays. I mean, people probably enjoy it, but I just find it kind of dumb. Well, that's my manually, my opinion, so you're entitled to yours, of course, but I think shows are kind of dumbed down nowadays. So if we come over here, we will find a <laughs> first day kit mini medium. Always good and relevant to have. So it will be worth your trouble. You're supposed to come down here. That's blocked off. You can come over here, pick up a saber. I would definitely suggest doing something with it. Even if you have to send it to your inventory, it's worth it. Saber is not the strongest. It's almost like the sword. I think there's just durability and strength is changed on it. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I, that's what I'm believing after playing this for as long as I have. So, what I can suggest is probably turn off your flashlight, run right by him, run right by her if you can. Uh, killing enemies right now is kind of pretty much not worth it, but I can suggest probably you getting out your sword here, quickly destroying this, quickly destroying this, can by her. Can right by her too. Go straight through the door. Dealing with these enemies in these close quarters is not worth your time at all, in my opinion. As you can see, just look how much of the sword that took up. I, I'm gonna... Oh, shit, that was shotgun shells that I did not need. So I'm gonna head down here. 
Uh, hopefully go into this door. Of course, I'm still doing more of this. God's sake. Oh, no! I just like her. I'm just gonna run away now. I'm not sure if you can hear me rattling the control stick. Evade! Oh god. I'm like using different parts of my hand doing this now, because I'm still doing this in the recording that I did the previous one. Evade. Yeah, get ready. You're gonna have to press A button and it, it comes up to evade. That's pretty much where you're gonna be doing this entire time as you try to run the hell out. Oh god, no. How much you want to bet I press stay again? If you did, you would be right. But we're gonna continue. Mm -hmm. If I'm correct, it should start us exactly where we got into the situation at. And hopefully not from the save point. We start from the save point. We got a little bit of a problem. Okay, good. We start right here. I probably will leave that cut in. Probably will. Just because it will show me dying and what it looks like. But we will skip this and go straight back into running again. Okay. Take the time to make sure you read what buttons coming up, guys. My advice. Hey. You'll probably be pressing the whole controller set here. I adjust to evade, which is kind of ridiculous, but oh well. Again, I think we got another one of these coming up. Yes, we do. And then we should be able to get into the door and run away from this guy for good. A. Yes, and there's the door right there. So now we're just gonna be running our asses to it. Oh God! Keep running, here, Keep running. Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. I totally evaded that when she killed the boss for me, thank you. How come he gets to go like all the good ways? And I don't. Did he get stuck? I wouldn't mind that if he got stuck. I evaded that. So, I don't know why, that was kind of glitchy, the music kind of went out on me. We'll go right by him, and straight through the door, hopefully. I don't think he was too happy about that at all. So, I'm probably going to just pull up my magnum here, and go straight through this. Oh, of course! Run right through, run right through. Come on, I'm so glad I brought this sword along though, for the record. Go right by, go right by, go right by. Climb up. And take this guy out. Where did he go? Yes, I will be killing you, lady. And you must die because you're an enemy. As a known fact of video games. I hate to say, but. There may have been a card in there, but I'm not really that worried about it. Just my honest. Just my honest opinion. Now, we can save over here. Or we can find out what's going on in here. What if, what if I feel like there's an enemy in here? You know what, guys? I'm actually going to save because this isn't exactly where I thought it was going to be. But you know what, guys? It's been great having you again. But you know what? We've done a lot. And I will see you guys on the very next episode of Deadly Premonition as we seek to finish it out. Goodbye.